Hey everyone, just want to do a quick video here to talk about how you can stream the Pan Continental Curling Championships that are going on right now in Lacombe, Alberta, up in Canada. Uh, if you're not aware, the Pan Continental Championship, really the second regional championship in curling. There's the European region, and then the rest of the world is the Pan Continental. So if you're interested in seeing countries like China, Japan, Korea, the United States, uh, Canada, and others compete uh, in international competition before the world stage, and that includes some smaller curling nations as well, then this is the event for you. Now, the good news is they're streaming. The bad news is it's not free. What you're gonna wanna do is go to the curling channel, uh, worldcurling.org backslash curling channel. There will be a link in the description below to help you find this. From there, you can sign up for various packages that will allow you to stream these games. As I said, streaming not free. Uh, the event pass for the Pan Continental Championship this week is $19.99 US. Uh, you can get day passes for about $5 US. You can also get um, season passes for $99. That covers seven different world championship events and qualifiers like Mixed doubles, juniors, men's and women's worlds, um, and the Pan Continental Championship, the uh, European Championship, and so on. Um, there is also a session pass. If you just want to watch one game, you feel like you want to jump into a session and watch games for a couple hours, $1.99 um, if you want to do that. The other note is in some of these events, there are television rights for local games. So sometimes when you're watching events through this service, through the, the curling channel, uh, you may not be able to get your local games. In the case of this event, that appears to only apply to certain games that are featuring Japan and Korea. So my Canadian friends, you can watch Team Canada on the men's and women's side, United States, Americans, we can watch uh, our teams the entire event through. And that's basically it. Uh, you know, you sign up as you want for the games you want, for the length you want, and you're good to go. So with that out of the way, I will have continuing coverage of the Pan Continental Championship on this channel. Uh, if you wake up every morning, every night after the games have concluded, I'll give an update on the standings, on the results of the day, what surprises there were. And unlike the streaming, which I should say is just for the A event, those are the top teams, the teams really competing to go to Worlds, uh, I will also be giving updates on the B event. I think that's very exciting too. Uh, there is a promotion relegation system at play. So the top team in B will move up to A on both the men's and women's side with the bottom A team dropping down. So there is room for advancement for some of these countries that are, you know, developing their curling programs or just aren't very strong or haven't been strong in the recent past. Uh, they have a chance to move up. And some of the newest nations in the world that have joined the curling scene are getting their first tastes of international play at that B-level event. And I will tell you, there are some teams that you might not be surprised by that are doing very, very well to start off this event. So I'll see you guys tonight with an update. And uh, if you wanted to see streaming, I hope you got the information you needed and enjoy the curling all week. Good curling, everyone.